Hello guys, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all of us and a clear sky over our heads. New Mitsubishi A6M3 Zero Interceptor on my table today, cool box with amazing uh, model. In previous episode we finished some stuff with interior of our short range to interceptor. Here we can see completed pilot's cabin, all interfaces on their places. Add interior parts of the fuselage on wings. What now? Yes, of course, exterior. First of all, add absent uh, wing section. Extra thin glue may be not the best solution for uh, such a works. Uh, it's better to choose uh, the thick one. I applied uh, thin glue for several times. Add wing parts. And additionally put glue on all connections, and uh, here thin glue is a better choice. Ok, we can see that connection is very precisive. Maybe somewhere I add a later small amount of putty and send uh, some problem places. But in general very good connection. So ailerons, easily put them on uh, wings. By the way, it seems that Eduard produced additional upgrade uh, kit with the flaps for this model, but uh, I don't have it, so we'll work without it. Important stage now, connection of fuselage parts with the pilot's cabin. I think that uh, I use here super glue and at first I put our interior section to the one of the sides of the fuselage, glue them. And after that, when everything ok, I applied uh, super glue on the other part of the cabin and uh, add here the second opposite part of the fuselage. And hopefully everything ok here with the connection. That's good. So now we can start the gluing of the whole fuselage. Step by step I glue all surfaces. In the same moment try to achieve good and tight connection. Additionally, I use here modeling tape. It makes uh, this work a little bit easier, because I can release my hands and uh, move forward. Step by step, uh, our fuselage became a single uh, part. Yeah, now interesting work ahead. Uh, we can apply here a hood part. I paint it uh, with a brush in black and a green color. A little bit uh, put it somewhere here. Great connection and carefully apply here a glue. Finally, I connected two major parts of our interceptor, the fuselage and wings. There was no problems with its connection, everything uh, looks fine, no gaps, no other defects, except one place, uh, here on the rear side. Well, it's classics, uh, just apply there a little bit of modeling putty uh, to fill that gap. Now I can connect uh, rear wings. I use here force to put them directly on their places. One ready and time for another one. It seems that everything ok with the geometry of this model. Engine section, yep, we reach it. Here is a plastic bulkhead that I glued a little bit earlier. Now one more detail, it looks like a big rounded pipe. Well, actually it is. We doesn't have the whole engine in this kit, but only some visible parts of it. Uh, so it consists from two big parts and two smaller. With that small pipes we have to be very careful, don't break them. Ok, it's done. You can see here engine parts that have to be connected together. And prepare also some other details, like a propeller, cap some other details and uh, they are separated for this moment because I think it will be a better solution to paint all of them uh, separately uh, because they have uh, different colors, uh, black, uh, silver and some others. By the way, traditionally small upgrade from Nick, I drilled here a hole, I think that allows me to put uh, here a piece of broken needle or something like that, maybe metallic wire and that uh, makes our propeller workable. Well, actually, I'm not sure about that. Ok, I prepare all small details that I think have to be painted separately from the whole plane. Here we have even uh, prepared parts of the wheels. Uh, yes, uh, uh, this kit includes painting masks for wheels too. 
but I think it will be a little bit easier to paint just sprightly uh, discs and uh, tires for wheels, one from another. In the same moment we have prepared for primering process all the plane. I add here uh, masks uh, self-made from modeling tape. I glued as many details on fuselage as it was possible and applied here a little amount of putty to hide some gaps. Such a places on the, this model like this one I just uh, scratched with a knife and uh, sanded a little bit with the sanding paper, so I hope that will be okay even without a party. But I'm not sure. So I cover all the model and all the prepared details with the Vallejo's uh, black primer, Mecha series. Looks amazing. Uh, scene and strands uh, first layer. All relief, uh, all reverse is visible and that's great. But the primer shows us uh, some problems, artifacts, after gluing. Uh, so I put additional masks from the modeling tape and put uh, here thin layer of Tamiya's putty, which works uh, great. This places uh, wasn't uh, critical, but I decided to correct uh, them with a party, because I want to receive as uh, straight uh, surfaces as possible and to avoid uh, different gaps, cavities and dents. While party is not ready for sanding, I can put here front transparent detail, canopy. Let's use inbox uh, modeling masks. They are cool, precisely uh, take their places on glass parts. Easy process in general. Few words about uh, that how we can uh, apply our uh, canopy on the model. I test here some extra plastic detail from uh, this kit, the transparent one, and and connect it with ordinary grey plastic detail using Tamiya's glue. And everything ok, I mean uh, that our transparent detail is still transparent. Well, maybe strength of our connection is not uh, great, but I think it will be enough uh, for our canopy. But anyway, always be careful with such uh, details and always uh, test uh, your details and glues on some mm, extra parts from the kit. Apply our detail on fuselage. Looks normal. Ok, party dry up, so now we can sand it. Uh, first of all, I, uh, I use uh, sandpaper with a grid uh, 600 or something like that and make uh, sanding over our masks. Uh, I do that because I want to protect uh, different rivets and all the relief that located uh, near uh, and closely to our working place. After surface is uh, fine, on my opinion, I remove the masks and after that additionally sand uh, this uh, party stripe to remove uh, stairs. And in the end uh, additionally sand uh, all this place with uh, another piece of sanding paper uh, with a grid 1000. Ok, I think that's enough. It seems that the uh, result much better than uh, previous time. But anyway, the final result will be visible after another layer of our basic paint. Add another part of canopy, glue that on Tamiya's glue. I hope uh, that everything will be okay with it. And I found out that uh, in aircraft scale models is always exist a problem with its handling during the painting work. Now, this time I decided to screw here such a building uh, item. I hope this makes my work easier. White color, but not the snowy white. I don't know why, but this white uh, color from Vallejo flows from the airbrush with a, such a white splash. It's not a problem in this case, because I need uh, to cover all the model with a white uh, color, and uh, the layer of this white paint is uh, thin, but in some other cases when we have to receive some white camouflage, uh, such a paint will be inappropriate. Maybe just my bottle with the paint very old, I don't know. So I add this white color in uh, several thin tones, but in the same way I try to leave the visibility of black primer, and here it uh, plays a role of uh, pre-shading. Ok, what I've got? White plane covered with a gloss coat, here we can see all bottles that were used in uh, previous work. 
uh, black Vallejo's primer mecha series such a white uh, paint from Vallejo and uh, this uh, fine gloss varnish from Vallejo. Well, I can say that not bad result, effect of different panels and uh, relief, it seems it uh, is still visible. But yes, of course, someone uh, can achieve the better result than this one. Yes, you can see here also the work uh, on decals. Uh, we have two paper sheets, markings and stencils and two bottles uh, from Vallejo. This one uh, I used before applying of decal and then another one after it. So why I'm putting decals on upper part before a green uh, camouflage paint? Because in real it looks like the camouflage was painted around the markings. I mean, it looks like this plane was in white color and then in 1943 maybe. It was just added to green camouflage over the whole plane, but uh, around all markings. Finally, can see today's result. Uh, I put on a model all big decals. These stripes were the most difficult uh, from all decals. Interceptor looks cool even on this stage. Well, it's actually like uh, almost one of the painting options of this kit, but with a green camo I think it will be more interesting and unusual. So to do this uh, and to finish all the project will be my uh, priority objective next time. I hope I finish it till uh, the new year, but I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, thank you today for watching, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, good luck guys and bye!